here is another video about hinge points and some of the problems that you might have if you have an older house and the reason why i'm making this video is someone just emailed me a picture about a problem they were having with a patio and if this is you you're the one who emailed me the picture and you're watching this then uh, hopefully it gets something out of it but i noticed they had a small block wall maybe 30 inches or three foot tall and they had a building built on top of it so it was, it was kind of like someone poured the slab and then had a it was probably a patio slab and then had a block wall that was probably about 10 foot long and for the scale in this video here this is six feet and this is 20 feet and um they uh, somebody had built a you know patio room uh sunroom kind of a thing on top of it and if you are going to rebuild your room then uh, i would just remove this wall and then go with all the frame and get rid of this but if you have a room or a situation like this and you're worried about it being a hinge point i'm going to kind of throw out some ideas here that might um, help you make it a little stronger so here we have a the framing just going around the block wall if the block wall is strong and doesn't require additional structural support which might not be the case with older block walls for example you could put some four by four posts on each side to eliminate the hinge point and in this one here i don't have any anchor bolts going into the block wall but you can also um, provide you can use straps and stuff like that if you aren't uh, if you don't have the tools or you're not interested in renting the tools to install epoxy bolts in them and that would simply just be a put a strap on each side a strap on this side a strap running across here and then something on the inside to keep the wall your block wall from moving with the wall framing so four by fours will definitely help eliminate the hinge point right here another method would be to build some type of a framed system over it with a header and trimmers something like you would install over a door or a window and of course you could always leave a gap quarter of an inch or a half inch to reduce the amount of moisture that might transfer from concrete or blocks to the wood framing and add uh, create a problem with it rotting but again this is all going to um, depend upon how sturdy this wall is if this is a strong wall and it doesn't move you're going to want to attach the framing to the block wall if it's a loose wall and it is going to move then or it does move already it's a little weak then you might want to remove it or um, use the framing to make it a little stronger and this also might be something to think about do you need to have the block wall surface even with the outside of the framing so you can put some stucco or siding over it or will it need to be framed where the interior of the wall is going to be even with it because maybe you're going to drywall the interior wall and um, you could always do something on the outside so not uncommon to have a situation where you have block wall that is going to be six or eight inches and framing that is going to be three and a half inches now let's take a look at another situation where we have a block wall corner and if that's the case then this is going to be a lot stronger and again this is all going to depend upon how the block wall was built or a brick wall whatever you're dealing with however it was built if it's built you know you walk up to it and you can move this side here and you can move this side then you might need some additional support here if you can move this side right here at the corner you might need to just remove the um, block wall so here we just have a situation where we're framing over and i've seen this plenty of times where you might have a block wall going all the way around the building up three feet for whatever reason and um, then they have the framing on top of it and hopefully the the wall has rebar and concrete in it um, some type of a um, cement based filler to uh, create to make a stronger wall but that's not always going to be the case like i said with older homes and that's kind of more along the lines of what i'm 
um, shooting for in this video, trying to help people that already have an existing situation. If you have a new, if you're building a new house, then um, this really isn't going to matter. You're going to build the new house according to the structural plans from the engineer, hopefully, unless you have enough experience where you can build it on your own and not worrying about it falling apart. Another thing you could have, uh, you could do is put a four by four on the end if you have a weak point here. So we've got kind of a hinge point here. Put the four by four in to strengthen it up like we did in one of the previous ideas. And of course, we could always add anchor bolts and these could be epoxied into an existing um, structure, an existing block wall. Just make sure that the anchor bolts aren't going to hit each other. If we put them in the corner here, we're going to have to move this one to the side and then the other one up on top to the other side so that the anchor bolts don't um, run into each other or your epoxy um, bolts that you're using. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody drill a hole like that. I mean, this, this information right here is probably worth the entire video. I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone drill a hole um, in the center of the board and then go on the other side, use the center, and then one epoxy bolt goes in, no problem. The next one doesn't. Uh, and again, uh, bolts on the other side here. And then, of course, our 4x4 four four with some bolts. So we have over here, we had a 2x4. You're looking for something a little stronger. Use a um, larger piece of lumber like a 4x4 four four or even a 4x6. And if you have a longer wall, you might consider using a larger board. A, here we have a 4x6. Um, you might think about using a 6x6 six six or even a 6x8, something that's going to provide you with a little more um, lateral support where the to prevent the wall from moving side to side. And again, you could always use a 4x6 here and a 4x6 on the other side here. Anchor bolts or our epoxy bolts there. And here we have 2x4 framing. We could always switch it to 2x6 if we wanted to, make it a little stronger and then put a filler piece on the top to uh, create a nice corner for our top plates, especially if we're going to drywall the inside of the garage or finish it somehow. So two by six on top of the four by six, and, we, and then we would have a two by six here. Now you could always install your two by sixes next to your original two by fours, and then install something here. If this was an original two by four, you could always install a two by six on the other side of the two by four if you didn't want to remove it. Just somehow think about uh, making it stronger and using the pieces to make it stronger. You know, four by fours, four by sixes at where there is going to be a problem with the hinge point. So that brings us to the end of the video here. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible. And of course, as always, if you made it to this this far in the video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button um, or leave a comment. Let us know how much you appreciate these videos or email me some pictures of something that you have built or repaired if you have used the information in this video.